Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know how to solve quadratic equations, we can solve more complicated rate problems. So let's try this one. Kim can do the whole job in one hour less than it takes John to do the job by himself. Together they can do it in six-fifths of an hour. How long does it take Kim to do the job by herself? So the way we work this is the follows. We can say that the rate of Kim times the time that they work together plus the rate of John times the time that they work together equals the whole job done. And we know that the time is equal to six-fifths of an hour when they work together. Now, the rate of Kim and the rate of John, how do we get that? Well, first what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal the time for John. So time for John by himself. That means that x minus 1, because it's one hour less, is equal to the time for Kim. And we know that the rate is the inverse of the time, so therefore rate of Kim is going to be 1 over x minus 1, and the rate for John is going to be 1 over x, because x is the time for John, and x minus 1 is the time for Kim. So therefore the inverse of that gives me the rate and now I can plug that into the equation. So the rate for Kim is 1 over x minus 1. And the time that they work on it together is 6 fifths of an hour. Plus the rate of John is 1 over x times the time that they work on it together is 6 over 5. And that is equal to the whole job done. Now, to solve that equation, we have to multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator is going to be the product of all the denominators together. So it's going to be x minus 1 times x times 5. And we do the same on the left side. It's going to be x minus 1 times x times 5. Now we go ahead and we multiply. So here we cancel out x minus 1 and 5 and we multiply times x. x times 6 would give us 6x. Plus, here we cancel out x and 5, so we multiply 6 times x minus 1, and here we multiply everything together, so we have x times x, that's x squared, minus x, multiplied times 5. So we'll do it in two steps here. So here we multiply this out, we get 6x plus 6x minus 6, is equal to 5x squared minus 5x. Then this gives us 12x. Move the other side, we get 0 is equal to 5x squared minus 12 minus 5 is minus 17x, and minus 6 goes across, we get plus 6. And there is the quadratic equation that we're trying to solve. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So this is 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c in such a way that a is equal to 5, b is equal to minus 17, and c is equal to 6. So let's plug that into our quadratic formula. So we have x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus b, that would be 17, plus or minus the square root of 17 squared, we don't have to worry about the negative sign because we're squaring it, minus 4 times a which is 5 times c which is 6, all divided by 2 times a which would be 10. So we have x is equal to 17 plus or minus the square root of 17 squared, 17 squared, 17 squared, 17 squared, 289. Okay, so that's 289 minus 120 all divided by 10, which is 17 plus or minus the square root of, that would be uh, 169 divided by 10. And of course, that would be x is equal to 17 plus or minus 13 divided by 10, which is equal to 30 divided by 10, which is equal to uh, 3 or 4 or 0.4. So we have two possible answers for x. Now, do they make sense? We have x equals the time for John and x minus 1 the time for Kim. 
Well, if I take 0.4, if I subtract 1 from that, I get negative time, which is not possible. You can't do jobs at negative time, although that would be quite a trick. So that means that the only possible answer is 3. And let x equal time for John, so that would be equal to 3 hours, and x minus 1 for Kim is equal to 2 hours. So since we're looking for the time for Kim, that means the answer is 2 hours is the time that Kim can do the whole job by herself. And that is how it's done.